Hello, New York Comic Con. I cannot believe that we are at what I refer to as the cathedral of New York City, Madison Square Garden. Uh, I am a, a boxing fan, and this is the place, as far as I'm concerned, that Muhammad Ali built. So, uh, and I am more than thrilled to tell you that we have brought you today the cast from the heavyweight champions of the Marvel Television Universe, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, before we do that, I want to, uh, I want to, first of all, they're here and I want, I want you guys, what I love is that this guy did half my work, so I have like little stuff to do, but the little stuff that I want to be able to do is, I want to make sure that they know how happy you are that we got to season five. So, so just, just so that we, because I like warming you up a little bit, we'll split it. Sorry, what? Six seasons in a movie. <laughs> I didn't realize my mom was in the audience, but that's okay. Uh, all right, so if you're like here, That's a way to say thank you. Uh, and then speaking of thank yous, I could run through a bunch of people because we wouldn't be here with any of them, uh, without any of them. And uh, they are our good friends at ABC Studios and ABC Network, which supports us enormously. Uh, uh, and that would be Channing and Patrick and Nay and Brian and Vicky and Joe DeSanti and Heather Comden. Awesome. Uh, there are some people in New York that uh, work for Marvel, and some of them are here in the audience, and so please give a big round of applause for Dan and Rob and Alan and Chris Fonacaro, and then the master of us all and the guy who makes all this happen, our own Joe Quesada. Uh, and then I, there's some people in California that, that don't get out here enough, uh, and that is uh, Jim Corey and Kareem, and Megan and Wendy, and they're always looking after the show for us. Uh, and then there's some folks that are in, in marketing and PR, and, and the list is endless, but I will just give a big shout out to Mike and Tim and Henry and Raina and Sean and Phyllis and Madison, and I know that I've forgotten somebody, so we'll just say thank you to all of them. So thank you very much for that. Um, wow, you guys are really good. Um, and you're gonna be so good because one of the things is, as you probably know if you've ever been to a Marvel panel, um, there's a chance that you're gonna to get to see stuff that no one's ever seen before. There's a chance. There's a chance that there's gonna be world premiere stuff that's going to be up on that screen. But the only way that that's gonna happen is, is if, as you know, there are guys and gals that are walking up and down here that are literally, I'm not making this up, wearing night vision goggles. And yes, they are Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or Agents of Marvel, 
Um, and what they're here to do is really protect the material so it doesn't turn up online and look crappy and then it doesn't look good and we don't want to do that. And worst of all, what you don't want to do is have your phone taken away because then you'll have a bad day and we want you to have a good day. So happy for you to take pictures when there's nothing up here that's not filming and when the wonderful cast comes out, have a ball. But when I say, Henry, roll the clip, Henry, don't do anything right now, but <laughs> when I say, Henry, do whatever, that's a good sign for you guys to put your phones away and just enjoy what's going on and enjoy it. And that's the end of all the boring stuff. Let's get to the fun. Let's meet some of our incredible cast that you guys have been so loyal to. Uh, it, it, it's, it's so unbelievable. We're going to be filming uh, our 100th episode. Uh, uh, with a, and, and to have this cast, uh, it is just so incredible. She's the newest of our season regulars. Uh, you know her on the show as Yo-Yo. She is Natalia. Hola, Natalia. Hola. Uh, you know this man. He came onto the show. We thought, well, this guy's a mechanic. Like, what, what are we going to do with him? Uh, and now he's kicking down doors, and he's got everybody's favorite shotgun axe. Henry, come on out here. much discussion about who's the better half of this particular pair. I'll, I'll let you guys decide uh, just by, well, we'll see. We'll see how you guys react when Elizabeth comes out to play Simmons. And, and uh, he would like to send out a monkey instead of sending himself, but that's not going to stop us from bringing Ian out, who plays Fitz. I know there's kids in the audience, but there's no other way that I can describe her. She kicks ass every episode. Agent May is May. Sky, you know her as Daisy, you know her as Quake, and now you know her as Chloe. It, right? Like, there isn't anybody else, is there? That's it. I mean, I mean, you guys have been carrying it now since, like, the pilot and stuff. Like, there really isn't anybody. There, there, no, sorry, who? It is our privilege. It is our pleasure. He is our captain. He is our boss. He is the meaning of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Agent Phil Coulson is Clark Gregg.
end. It's great. I love That's this. Great. It's great. I feel like I'm on The Tonight Show. Uh, we just got finished uh, with season four, uh, which, uh, which was, I think, a lot of you found to be one of our best seasons, not to say any of them were otherwise, uh, where we got through Ghost Rider and LMD and being in the framework. Uh, and I, I'm, I am very happy to announce for the first time, and I, even they don't know, uh, that we have a premiere date for season five. Uh, we, will, we will be coming back on the air on Friday night, December 1st, uh, with a two hour premiere that will show the first and second episodes of season five. Uh, and then we'll continue that arc, uh, which, uh, which we will reveal later the name of what that's going to be. Uh, but here's what we do know is that we're in space. <laughs> did my voice just do a thing there? It did, it did. I looked at Ming and my voice went up, so I don't know what that means. Uh, but uh, it's like I getting think... Is some, something squeezed a little bit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, the, the character of May and the character of Ming the same. are the... Nothing's different. They're, they're just a little different. They're just a little different. Clark, what are you thinking? You're just sitting there thinking. Yes! <laughs> I'm thinking she has a superpower. Yeah. Ming. Yeah, and what, which is? She can find innuendo in a diner menu. <laughs> I... I was I was told by and and actually if we could if we could give them because I none of this is possible without the people that that write and run the show on a day to day basis and if we could give them a, a New York thank you for Jed Whedon, Marissa Tancheron, and Jeff Bell, who are our beloved showrunners uh, and who are in California running the show, which is why they can't be here today. Um, but they did, uh, they did give me a few things to talk about, and, and one of them, and, and any of you can jump in here, is that you cannot have a script that has the word, oh, thrust in it, uh, without Ming just finding that to be the most hilarious thing that she's ever <laughs> run into. Or, I won't say it. Did we not start, did we not give them a name, we start calling them Mingasms or something? Yeah. Yeah. Mingasms? Ming Mingasm. Ming Mingasm? Mingisms. Mingisms. No, isms. Isms, not asms. Like orgasm, Mingasm. Now you're just setting her up. children in the audience. Oh. I'm not from this country, all right? I don't know. <laughs> so. Hey, boss, can I say one thing? Yes, sir. Um, we are um, seven eight episodes into shooting what feels like a tremendous gift to us because we've been a little bit the engine that could. We just keep grinding, trying to get better and better. And on our show, you see our family just gets deeper and richer and more diverse and more interesting. And we feel that we have this fifth season really because of a lot of the people in this room. <laughs> because our family out there has gotten deeper and interesting and more diverse along with the stories and you've stuck with us in a way that we talk about all the time and we are so grateful for and we feel that that's why we have the chance to tell this story and it makes us show up to work ready to play. So thank you. Uh, and we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna, we're gonna talk to the audience today and we're gonna do all kinds of things. Uh, but I, I did, I wanted it to start off just, uh, Natalia, you're the newest of the gang. Yeah. Uh, uh, just, uh, you know, what was it like when you first joined and did you think this was gonna be, you know, now you're a season regular, welcome to the gang. Thank you. Um, well, I always tell the story that when I first joined, it's always nerve wracking to come in as a new actor to a show that's been established with relationships and whatnot and, I walked up to uh, the offices and I thought I was going to play a tough girl from Colombia. Had no idea it was Yo-Yo. 
and Elizabeth and, and Chloe ran to me like they had known me their whole life. And, um, <laughs> and that's rare in the world and in this business. So I felt part of the family from day one. And of course, when we actually sealed the deal and decided to go steady, Jeff and I, um, <laughs> It, it really, you know, just heightened how special everything has been for the past two years. So I'm incredibly grateful and honored. We're very lucky to have you. Thank you. Uh, Take one. Yeah. Henry, you, uh, in addition to getting to make uh, friends with Yo Yo, uh, uh, there's also, I, there's a story that, that we've been telling about. Uh, your beautiful daughter, Hope, uh, that I think has both made the audience come closer to you and, and for you to deal with some real uh, hard emotions. I mean, it's, it's a really tough story that you're telling. And, uh, and would you share with them uh, this season, uh, you had your own special thing happen to you at home, and then you had to come in and go to work. <laughs> oh, uh... Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> are you talking about my uh, my new baby? I don't yeah, know. that's what we're talking about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Except so, I can't say it the way you just said it. We said me, my new baby. <laughs> Damn. I think there's a lot of new babies out there in the audience too. So I just got pregnant. <laughs> from that. <laughs> it was so saying my new baby. Oh my god, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's it like being like a new dad and then also dealing with this other story that you're dealing with? It's just like... Uh, well, look, if I look tired, <laughs> now you know no, why. You don't. Goodness <laughs> gracious, I'm not getting any sleep. But it's, um, you know, it, it's fantastic. It's, uh, you know, I go home and I have a wonderful family and then I go to work and I have this wonderful family. So it just, I'm blessed. That's all I'm right to put. Uh... Uh, speaking of this wonderful family, as, as Clark pointed out, it includes you guys. I, I'd love to do uh, a little Q&A here, and, and uh, don't, don't worry, there'll be time. We got, we got all kinds of things. I'm looking at a clock, and, and, uh, and I, may, I may cut you off. Hi, we can uh, see you all I love now. your shirt, yeah! Sorry, I'm uh, Yay, we could only so see you. I also have your sweatshirt. Oh my God! Oh, there's so much more of you than I thought. Okay. Hello. Here's the best part. I'm starting over there. Oh. Uh, so, so we'll get to you. You'll be on the other side. So we're gonna start over here, and uh, this woman is dressed in in some foreign outfit I don't recognize. <laughs> uh, uh, what is that? What are you? Wonder Woman. <laughs> I'm just woman. kidding. I don't know. <laughs> You look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you. It How is. good was that movie? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, boss. Sorry, boss. It's all right. We, we, we love when our distinguished competition does well. Uh, so. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Um, when will Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. be on the Avengers movie? Uh, well, it seems like the right time to announce that we don't know. <laughs> we don't know, we don't know. We're, we're awfully busy nine months of the year making 22 of these things. It makes it a little tricky, but someday, maybe I'll really yeah. make a phone call. I feel like you could make it happen. You guys could make it. <laughs> Take that invisible plane. <laughs> I know get who the you lasso are. of truth get out. Get the lasso yeah, of truth. <laughs> and then we'd find out all kinds of things. Uh, and now, let's come over here yeah. to the woman who has sh shirts for many. <laughs> I'm going to film you, so oh. get ready. What's your name? My name's Elise. Hi, um, Elise. I have two parts. First part is wondering if, Chloe, are you doing another fundraiser? Because I need to add more of your clothes to my wardrobe. I am. I'm doing one soon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's so, say so, what you're so wearing. So everybody understands it. Tell us about your yeah. fundraiser. What is oh, this? turn She's around, do a little show. She's wearing my Fight Like a Girl t-shirt and all the proceeds go to, and sweater, oh my God. This is amazing. And all the proceeds go to women um, and children's healthcare in Haiti. So thank you so much. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Um, and then my second,
second part was there's definitely a ton of character development in this show, which is one of the best parts. I was wondering if your se season four characters could go back and tell your season one character something, what would it be? Well, that's a really interesting question, Elizabeth. I don't know, you? probably just to hurry up and snog fits, you know? <laughs> just, just like, there was a lot of time wasted in there, you know? Hey, Ian, rebuttal? <laughs> no, I don't think we need that. It's not going to be as good as mine. <laughs> okay, I'm starting a t-shirt campaign that's called Snog Like a Fitz. <laughs> snog means kiss. Snog means kiss. Okay, good. It just means kiss. Just a kiss. I mean, what? Not, not in, oh, not, not in my mail. Uh, and and Ian, Ian, Jed wanted me to ask you, like, your favorite scenes are the ones where you get to kiss, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he loves it. I go he to all of them. He practices with ev everyone in the cast. This is... It's true. Henry? <laughs> they're not. <laughs> no, they're fine. I mean, they're fine. They're fine. They're absolutely middle of the road fine yeah. when you do them. Uh... Oh, they're bizarre things to do, aren't they? Because, you know, you're, there's like a room full of crew looking at you, and we're good friends otherwise, and I'm good friends with your boyfriend, and, you know, that's that kind of... So we try to keep that to a minimum. <laughs> if, it's, if it's possible. Yeah. If and, it's and, possible. And I, I'm always on set so I can watch them. Ming hides, you were on she set. She does. She you hides, like, behind yeah. the set. Hiding, stuff like that. hiding on set. You were no. down by that bed <laughs> that time. <laughs> But the first time, really the first time though, Henry really. and Natalia kissed, we were supposed to walk down the hall and interrupt them. Oh my gosh, yes! We did not walk down the hall and interrupt <laughs> Every time, Every time they'd kiss me, we'd be like, oh shit! I've never seen Henry blush. I know. That's the reddest black man I ever saw. <laughs> uh, uh, Chloe, anything you'd like to tell Sky? I'd be like, don't cut your hair, girl. Don't do it. <laughs> Keep it long. Um, I'm, there's, I mean, don't date a Nazi hydra traitor. <laughs> don't, don't date anyone because they'll die. Honestly, that's. We gotta really work on her taste in men. You what? He would die for you. you that's would, sweet. Please. If you kiss her, that's you will. That's really nice. <laughs> her Tinder, her Tinder profile stop. just has a skull and crossbones on it. There are men here willing to die at any moment. Just for one kiss. Exactly. That's how I feel about Ian. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess. Yeah. You, okay, this side here. Um, do you have anything to show us from um, season five by any chance? Hey, hey now. Hmm. Uh, We're just shooting it now. I gotta, I gotta, yes. I gotta, talk, I gotta talk to the boss. I thought you're the boss. <laughs> you're gonna get me in trouble and I'll get killed again. Uh, <laughs> I was supposed to live in the Avengers. I told one secret. <laughs> hey, new ending. Uh, What's the question, boss? Please, please. Please, please. I, I haven't seen anything. Right. Please. Right. Yes, please. we want to see it too. Please, sir. Please. You do too. Please. Oh. Well. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. If Ian will give you a kiss. Who? Who? I want, who? Elizabeth. Where are the spotlights? We need spotlights. No. If Ian will give Elizabeth Ian and Henry. a, a Ian little and Henry. kiss. Ian and Henry. You don't need to kiss, kiss me. I was gonna. He doesn't then, kiss me. Then this young lady. <laughs> Then this young lady gets her wish. No, That's her, how it works. Well, Henry I'll, and Ian. That's I'll what everyone yeah. wants to see. What does everyone want to see? Henry and Ian. Me, Clark, and Henry do a three-way. We I'll, should all do yeah. just a three-way. Oh, no. We're I'll kiss never you, going I'll kiss to you get right to see mouth. any of season five. I'll kiss you right in the mouth right now, Rob. <laughs> I need a cig I need a cigarette. I need a cigarette. Things you will not see at every panel. <laughs> I need a glass of wine and a cigarette. Uh, have you been, what did you have for lunch? Where am I? 
you guys. <laughs> so what's the answer, boss? I'm a and E.M. We'll, we're we're going to come back to you guys, but I, I do, there's a, I think some of you guys know this, but and I, and if not, you're going to know now, and that's, um, Clark, this season you get to do something that we've talked about, I think, since season one, which is you're going to be, you actually just finished directing one of our episodes. <laughs> and uh, this is, this is obviously directing not new to you. you. You've done some future work and stuff, but this is certainly the first time you've done the show. What was it like being, well, you had to do two things that were really hard. One, you had to work with this Motley crew, and then the, and then the other was you had to direct yourself and then like run behind the camera and then come back around, and yeah. how did you do all that? Yeah, I wasn't a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, that guy's difficult. I don't want to direct him ever again. Um, <laughs> It was a really, it was really generous. Uh, they know I've made a couple of, of indie films and they asked me a couple of times and it seemed too overwhelming this year. They, they teed it up perfectly and I got a chance. It's really a trust exercise because all of a sudden these guys, I have to direct them and they tease me a lot and I deserved it. And at the same time, it was really an amazing experience to get to collaborate in that different way with our amazing crew and do big fights and VFX stuff. I just finished, I'm now editing it. And uh, it was a really cool episode. Some people do some unbelievable fights in it. And um, I'm really excited for you to see it. It'll be episode six. And uh, thank you, boss, for letting me. Letting me. Uh, just, just to give a counterpoint to it, Chloe, what was it like having Clark no, 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 normally no, 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 by your side now, <laughs> now no. going, uh, let's do that again. I didn't really quite get what I it wanted. It was, you know, it was awesome. It was actually, it was awesome. You know, he, obviously he he knows these characters better than pretty much any director that we could have come on um, and direct. And he he brought just, he he pulled performances out of people that you, he, other people would not have been able to do. And he also brought so much comedy, which I wasn't expecting. And it was, um, it was really fun. It was fun, it was so good. You guys are gonna love it. Thank you. Uh, there, you're okay. Hi, you're waving. Hi. I remembered. <laughs> I'm still dizzy from Ian's kiss. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that. Oh so much gosh. has happened. <laughs> okay, um, hi guys, my name's Karishma, I'm from New Jersey. Hi Karishma from New Jersey. Um, <laughs> I uh, just wanted to say number one, huge fan of the show. My friends and I came as the Avengers to support you guys. Yay! I've got... Black you should all stand up. America. We want to see you all. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, nice. <laughs> so, nice um, number two, this past season was literally the best season so far. Um, it meant so much in light of events that are going on in the world right now. And last year, at last year's Comic Con, I floated the idea of Clark Gregg running for president. Um, yes, and, and then they did a background check. <laughs> Well, screw the background check, Thank because you. this time I really seriously want to know, would you please run for president in yes. 2020? Sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but then he wouldn't Trust me show. when I say that's not something you want. <laughs> I, I don't think I could do worse, but I, I still... Thank you very and, much. And, and next question, please. Hi, guys. My question is for you, Mac. All of your references to the 80s movies and all of your nicknames for your colleagues, is that ad-libbed or is that scripted? Because it's always... Yeah. Please tell us how you ad-libbed all those slides. Yeah, right. No, that's all scripted. No, that's all scripted. Those 80 movies, I, I, I had to look a lot of that stuff up. <laughs> I mean, because, you know, I was just born then, so... <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, over on this side. Jonah, we all know Jonah. Hi. Hi. Jonah. Hi. Um, uh, what I was wondering is that you guys have had some amazing moments through, through the last five years of the show. I was wondering, what moment would you say has defined your character the most? Uh, Mink? <laughs> we never. In a comic book, we almost did, apparently. 
Yeah, you asked me out. Fitz, I mean, Fitz I think that was fan me fiction. It's very weird. No, no, no. It was an actual comic book. It was a real comic book. It was weird. <laughs> it's um, a real comic book. Very, it's very weird. Um, I would say, I mean, seriously, it, it would have been the um, a defining moment was in the pilot episode when Coulson recruits May back, and and I guess the discovery of uh, her history with Bahrain. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm well, now little. you're shy. <laughs> She's shy. Uh, uh, Clark, is dead. there is there one that uh, sticks out? The being not dead part. That. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a big one. I mean, I feel like I feel like there's been so, so many. Um, I guess I would say. I guess I would say uh, uh, the moment when he decided against everybody's judgment, including a very pissed off Nick Fury's, that this young hacker, Sky, who wanted to destroy S.H.I.E.L.D. might make a good agent. <laughs> Ian? Uh, um... Uh, yeah, probably, you know, admitting his feelings for, for Gemma Simmons. What that. about your feelings for someone Max. else? Oh, no. I mean, I don't want to get into it now, but how about those feelings for someone else? <laughs> Who, you? Madame Hydra. Ada. Oh, look, if we're going to do... Ada, if we are going to start, if we're going to go down this road tit for tat, we'll talk about what you did on that planet with that, with a certain someone. That's not... Yeah. If we're gonna, right. if we're yeah. gonna, I, I didn't want to go to that place, but if you, I think hey, that hey, is true. What, what happens true. on Mavis? We should do this. Stays here. on yeah. Mavis. We should. You also shot me, so Look, I pay five hundred dollars a week to a therapist for this. Do we have to do, do, it? <laughs> we have to do this here? Uh, we'll talk about it. After. Uh, we'll talk about it at home. Uh, <laughs> over here. Hi, my name's Hi, my name's uh, Eric Colson. Stop it, my is brother! It my brother! I actually met. I actually met me um, in Boston. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I, my fact, my question is for Clark. Uh, I wanted to know um, how did you um, differ your working on the movies earlier and the show? Um, I wouldn't say it was different. It's more the evolution. I, you know, when I was getting to kind of come in and bother Tony Stark you know, or try to wrangle the Avengers like some beleaguered backstage manager at Coachella. Um, <laughs> there was one specific kind of thing that Coulson did and they gradually revealed all these secrets that he knew and the things that he was good at, but I never imagined it would turn into 96 hours of television and character development and that he would literally get to have this second life exploring what feels like some of the most interesting parts but the outer perimeter of the Marvel Universe and to get to do so with such an incredible uh, ensemble of actors and writers. Thank you, Mr. Coulson. Oh, over here. Hi, my name is uh, Cassidy. Sorry, there's somebody over there that was talking when this person was talking. Sorry. So stop. It's, oh, snap. The boss got pissed. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cassidy. Yes. Hi. Uh, you guys come every year, and it makes my year. You guys are all amazing. Thank you so much. First off, you guys are wonderful. Thank you. Um, Chloe, by the way, you're the best. Yeah. Do you have gauntlets on? Yeah. Yeah. I you every year. Nice. I, I love it. For you. Really? Yes. Can I? Right there. That's yes. it. I'll take. Okay. It. I'll take a gift. Fuck it. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. See, these are awesome. Sorry, okay, take it. <laughs> um, my question is, do you have any advice for young actors or filmmakers who are trying to get into the business and, you know, be little superheroes? <laughs> Terra Genesis? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what, I'm gonna take this one. I, and, and this is something that, that we at Marvel really believe in, um, and that is never give up on your dreams. Uh, and if you, have, if you have people that are in your life that tell you that you can't do something and you believe in it, then 
you have to sort of make it the way that some people have the conversations at dinner where like some people are not comfortable talking about religion or politics or sex at dinner and so they choose not to. So if people are talking to you about you giving up on your dreams, then you just say to those people, you know what, I don't want to have this conversation with you. I'm not going to put you out of my life. Uh, but you don't, you don't want anybody to wake you up from your dreams. You only want people to wake you up from your nightmares. And if your dream is to be up here on this podium and, and, uh, and, and do what you think, then just stay at it. Just keep, keep trying. If, you're, if you want to be an actor, then you, you just you go to school and, and you work at it and you go to auditions and you never give up on it. And if you're a writer, you've got to write every day. And, and w at some point, someone will recognize your talent. Can I add one thing to that? Yes, right on. Let's give up a right on to that. Yes. Uh, before you go, one of the things that we're most proud of is the way that our boss and Jed Whedon and Marissa Tancheron Whedon and Jeff Bell and all our writers, they made it clear from day one that anyone you see walking down the street or wheeling themselves down the street of any color, size, gender, they belong on our team. That's what a secret warrior is. They can be anything. So there's no reason you can't do this other than you just don't want to try. Uh, over here. I don't know how to follow that. That was like super insightful and deep. Um, so this question is for Elizabeth and Ian. I mean, I wish I had gotten to ask it before we saw that and now we know that Fitz is not with you guys. But uh, after everything that happened at the end of last season, you guys seem so strained and now it's gonna be building back up, you know, hopefully your relationship. What are we gonna see? Are we gonna get you guys back together? Like, are you gonna, is Fitz gonna join you in space maybe? or? When are, when are we gonna see you guys finally be happy and be together? Because you, my husband and I are celebrating our one year anniversary this, this next oh, week, and congratulations. you guys are our relationship goals. It's a, a fun joke really? that we have. We are? No, really though, <laughs> it's Good that deep. That marriage. <laughs> Even after all the crap that you guys go through, you guys are still, you act the hell out of it. It's amazing. Oh. You make me believe in true love. It's amazing. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm, well, I mean, no one really knows apart from that man there at the end what's going to happen. But I mean, I'm gonna have to kiss him again. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Some answers. You, you, you may want to start looking at, at Henry and Natalia as your role models. In, in that, in that role. Oh, believe me, you guys are awesome. No, no, no. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Go back. Uh, I think they belong together. So I think at some point, somehow. There will be, I mean, space has separated them twice now. So, you know, who cares about space? We'll get over it. <laughs> right, right, Jeff? <laughs> well, I think, I think Ian's got some thinking to do. Some what? So Fitz has got some thinking to do. I mean, yeah. It, yeah. you know, I, the, you didn't come out of the framework like all happy and buzzy and stuff. There's, yeah. there's things that, that happened and you want to talk a little bit about I that? I think you summed it up. <laughs> I, just, I concur. <laughs> needs to have a think. <laughs> okay. We'll go over here. Hi, I just wanted to say your show is my favorite show on TV. Thank you. Thank you. Please join us on December 1st at 8 o'clock, normally at 9 o'clock on Friday nights. I will be there. On ABC. Um, my question is, what was your favorite season to work on? God, every season just gets better and better. I feel like uh, we just get closer as a family, and it it it, it feel really it's it's kind of crazy sitting here looking at, at everyone here and knowing that we've we've done 96 hours of TV and we've been together for so long. So the more time that I get to we get to spend, or at least me, I could be alone. They could all hate me. I don't know, but um, <laughs> the more time that I get to spend with these people, it's just been it. The relationships get richer, and, and it's been so much fun. I love you guys. I love you too. I'm really love emotional you. today. I know. I've been on the verge of tears like this whole time. It's the for tequila no reason. last it's night, I think. <laughs> yeah, we're very hungover. <laughs> it, it, I, I do have to say it's extraordinary. I, you know, I hate to sound like the old man of the mountain, except I am the old man of the mountain. And uh, when you have the opportunity to work on a television series, one that particularly gets as far as 100 episodes uh, and beyond, actually, and uh, 
And for this cast, you have to understand, like, they, they work all week long as hard as, as anybody I know, ridiculous hours and into the night and, and in places where there's not anything to be able to do except their job. And, and then they somehow find time to like hang out on the weekends and they watch the show together. Like they're legitimately a family. And, and I think that speaks to... We all live in one big house. <laughs> <laughs> That's a we different don't. show. Uh, and, uh, but I, it, I think it really speaks to the, the quality of, of them and, and also to the quality of the writing and the way that Jed and, and Marissa and, and Jeff run the show uh, and, and also to the love that you guys show them which gives them really a purpose to continue and, and to do their job and so we're very grateful to all of you. Really, we love you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that, do we have a ghostwriter over there, or it's, is that? It's actually half ghostwriter and half Quake. What? <laughs> awesome. Can I see? Can you step up? That's awesome. So I You're actually, a walking ship. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I started watching in high school, and now I'm finishing college. So I feel like you guys have really changed me. Um, so my question to you is, what's one change like that you learned about yourself through this process? Uh, Natalia, you, you just started. Has is, is there been something that's occurred to you? Um, well, I hadn't, I, this is my first time as a series regular in a show in America. In a show, in a show of uh, this magnitude. Um, I think what it's really taught me is uh, the, the respect for the crew. Doing 22 episodes at... Uh, the level of work that these guys do as as an actor, I, I've just never seen that that amount of of warriorism, if that's a word. These guys wake up earlier and leave later, and that's definitely changed me as an actor. Just as it's an honor to work with all those guys. They're right there, probably right now, with their families, and they just never rest. And we get days off. So to me, it's, it's an honor to work with people that put that much of themselves into our show. So that's really what I've taken very to heart in this process. I have to say that I, I was 20 when I started the show. And now I'm 25. And this is a, it's, it's been a really prominent time of my life. And um, she I, told us she was 26 when we hired her. True? I just want to point that out. For the advice that you want, just lie about your age. <laughs> That's how you get work. Um, no, and it's, it's it, I can't even, when I sit up here and I look at my family and I look at Clark and think of how much, how much you guys have helped me grow as a person and how much, I mean, really, he is a leader on and off screen and I've, we've, all of us have had such real life moment. Really, no, it's true, together. And I don't know if we're gonna, you know, we never know if we're gonna be here another year, but it just, it's, it's, I'm, I feel so lucky. I, I keep talking about how lucky I'm just getting real. I'm going to stop talking before I start crying. Um, but really, uh, I, I, the, the fact that we've gotten to, to grow the, um, in, through this process together has been amazing. Hi, my name is Hagger. I love the show. I am a huge fan of Clark. You're the best. Um, and now I'm a huge fan of Hacker. <laughs> thank you. Um, I'm a true Captain America fan, just like you. <laughs> I have a question. If you guys was in Captain America Civil War, whose side will you be on? Captain America or Iron Man? <laughs> I mean, that... That's a bit of a tough one for me. I mean, I first became friends-ish with Tony Stark. I don't like the idea of licensing people because they're different very much. On the other hand, things seem a little bit out of control. And I do love Cap. So my answer is, why don't you come here and get one of our season five keychains? Uh, we have time for one last question. Thank you. Oh. oh, yeah. Hi, Coach. Hi, I love it. Um, OK, 
Okay, so first off, just have to say you are each individually such a huge inspiration to me, like as people, like the characters too, but I, the work you guys do is amazing. We know you. We've met you a yeah, bunch of hi, times. Hi. Yeah, she's in, yeah. She's yeah. badass. Gauntlets. Um, so, oh gosh. So I'm gonna end it, end it on a random note. You guys are kind of seem hella fun to party with. <laughs> so if we were like to go to the bar right now, what would each of your drink of choice be? The, this is actually a question they can answer. One, One, two, two three. three. Tequila. Tequila. Yeah. Eva. Yeah. <laughs>